Every year since Recovery Reinvented began in 2017, we have sought to lift up local champions who are reinventing recovery every day in their communities. These recovery champions embody the mission of Recovery Reinvented. They end the shame and stigma of the disease of addiction. They help create a statewide culture that embraces recovery through concerted grassroots efforts. They are change makers on the front lines and in the trenches and the courageous faces and voices of recovery who use their stories to create meaningful change. Across North Dakota, individuals, communities, and organizations are working hard to reinvent recovery. They're working hard to eliminate the shame and stigma of addiction that prevents people from seeking treatment, and they help us focus on treating addiction like the disease it is. Today, we're honored to present four awards in four different categories, recognizing a group of extraordinary individuals. And again, carrying on this tradition, this is the fourth year. Uh, so there, these award winners today are joining all of our award winners, this elite group of historic recovery reinvented award winners, quite a class uh, that we have today, but these are recovery champion awards. You know, this is such an important part of recovery reinvented and it's, I just get so excited about it. It's so exciting. Anyway, so today's recipients <laughs> are examples of the best of the best among us. Mm, that sounds like a Top Gun, you know, best of the best, right? Top Gun, mm -hmm. you know, yep. anyway. And we take this opportunity to celebrate their accomplishments and to express our deepest gratitude for their inspiration and incredible efforts. This, this year, uh, is really no different. Uh, and each year the awards we've had have been inspired by the work of a local artist. Uh, and those artists have been chosen by someone who they themselves have a connection to addiction and recovery. That's right. The awards have been um, usually curated by someone who is in recovery and has a connection to addiction and recovery. I mean, these awards are so cool because they're created yeah, by the those physical. people. Yes, yes and they yes. have that connection. Yeah. And this year's no different. Uh, the artist who developed this year's awards, John Paulson, says that art has saved his light, his life. And so uh, John always has been artistic, but he discovered the healing components of art while seeking treatment for his addictions. Although the artist's work is very precise and intricate, John uses minimal tools, a protractor. Haven't used one of those since, I don't know, junior high. Geometry. What class was that? Okay, German. Ge geometry. All right. I just had to know football scores. I didn't have to know <laughs> geometry stuff. Anyway, fine point markers and poster board. The result is in an organized chaos of colorful geometric shapes. John's art became the basis for this year's awards. And we took his art and then we needed to produce the actual physical awards and we engaged again Rough Rider Industries. Rough Rider Industries employs the residents of the North Dakota State Correctional Facility in Bismarck. They do fantastic work across a whole number of lines of business, uh, but we wanna thank uh, everybody at Rough Rider for helping to produce the awards we're giving out today. Right, I mean, we've worked with Rough Rider over the past, since we started Recovery Reinvented. Um, and you know, they've helped us make things like name badges. They've created Recovery Reinvented coins. They have incredible work, uh, an incredible team of like graphic artists. And, and um, you know, they're, they're super inspiring. They all have a story. In fact, the, the ones that we've talked to that work in that graphics group, you know, are all in some way also connected to addiction. And they are, you know, behind the prison walls. Right. So and since we're, we're giving shout outs to Rough Rider, I should say that when we took office, we replaced the rectangle table in the governor's office with a beautiful round table, fully equipped with all of the uh, power cords and connections and everything else. And that beautiful round table in our office was built by Rough Rider Industries. So they can do it all, yes. uh, including today. But Super I want to say uh, thank you to John for sharing your work with us and your inspiring story of recovery. I think we're going to take, take a look at a video of John, is that what we're doing right now? Is that what we're doing next? All right. My name's John Paulson, and I'm a recovering alcoholic, and I'd like to talk about how I'm, how this artwork is doing for me. Well, actually, you know, I needed to do something with my life since I sobered up. And since I like to do my artwork, I started doing that. And as you can see, this is what I've been doing. It's keeping me sober, and I'd also like to thank I would like to thank Arts Partnership and Dana for 
suggested me to be involved in this program here in whatever this is going to be and I'm really happy to participate in this it really does something for me it keeps me um, you know motivated Thank you, John, for sharing your story. Uh, we look forward to presenting your artwork as created by Rough Rider to each of our four award winners today. 